I am Anil Kumar. Let me thank all the participants of the website for posting excellent questions. Here is my solution to your question. It is regarding vectors. We are looking for perpendicular vector of magnitude 3. The question is, how can I find a vector whose magnitude is 3 and which is perpendicular to each vector a 3i plus j minus 4k and vector b equals to 6i plus 5j minus 2k. So basically let's say we are given two vectors a and b. If we want to have a vector perpendicular to both of them then we need to cross multiply right. So, so in that case we need to do a cross b. Then you get a vector which will be perpendicular to both of them. Let's call this vector as c. Right, so that is the first part, part which we want to find the perpendicular vector. So, so vector C will be equal to A cross B. So this we are trying to find perpendicular vector. So, so when you cross multiply, you get 3i plus j minus 4k cross 6i plus 5j minus 2k. Right? Now i, j, k are the unit vectors, correct? So, so I prefer to write them in the form of a matrix. It becomes easier. So we can say i, j, k, 3, 1, minus 4, 6, 5, minus 2. So we get i component, which is minus 2 plus 20 minus j which is minus 6 and that is becomes plus 24 plus k 15 minus 6 right okay so this i could write as 18i and this is minus 18j and that is 9k we could also write this as just dividing all by 9, we get 2i minus 2j plus k. Right? So that becomes the vector. Now, the second part to this is that we want magnitude of 3. So, so the magnitude of vector c is 3. How do we get that? So for that, we have to divide this vector by its magnitude and multiply by 3. So basically, what we are trying to find is a unit vector and then 3. So, so the magnitude of 3, we could get by, we have this vector 2i minus 2j plus k. We'll divide this by its magnitude, which is 2 square plus 2 square plus 1 square. And once we do that, we can then multiply this by 3. So that gives us magnitude of 3, right? So that is 3 times 2i minus 2j plus k. So this is 2 square 4, 4, 8 and 1, 9. So that is 3, right? So this 3 and 3 cancel. So actually, the vector which we got has a magnitude of 3, right? So this vector has a magnitude of 3. So we get our answer as 2i minus 2j plus k, correct? So that becomes our answer. So I could have just checked the magnitude of what we got. So this is our answer. Is that clear? So that is how we can actually solve it. Thanks and all the best.